Hey guys, Cece back with another video and today's video is going to be my top 10 holy grail high-end items. Now, I have more high-end items that I really, really love, but I wanted to cut the video somewhere. I didn't want it to be 40 minutes long, just talking about all the high-end products that I love. So these are my holy grail only top 10. So if you guys want to see a part two, if you enjoy this video, definitely leave me a comment and thumbs up this video and I will certainly get you out of part two. But for right now, this is just going to be the top 10. And real quick, what I'm wearing on my lips, I thought it was such a cute color. I kind of created, so I wanted to let you guys know. I'm wearing the Too Faced Melted Liquid, Liquify, what is this? Liquified Longwear Lipstick. And this one's in Melted Sugar. And then I just paired it with a brown lip liner. Any dark brown lip liner will do. I used um, the color Dark Brown by Ruby Kisses. But any dark brown lip liner will do. I just paired it with that and I got this really nice grayish color. So um, I thought that was really cute and I wanted to share that with you guys. Alright, so if you'd like to see my top 10 Holy Grail high-end products, then just stay tuned. So first I'm going to start with palettes. I have two palettes that I've absolutely been loving. One I've had for a while, the other one I got a couple of months ago. That one is the Tarte Lip Palette. I have done a look with this, a get ready with me. I've also done a product spotlight video on this palette. So if you have not seen those, I will link those down below and somewhere in this video. But this is the Tarte Tarte Lip Palette and it is the most amazing palette that I have ever, ever, ever seen. It comes with 12, 12, yeah, 12 all matte shadows and they are absolutely gorgeous. This is just the most beautiful palette. I mean, you get your black, your nice um, black, you get some deep purples, you get your mauve shades. It's a neutral palette, but it has more of a twist to it. It's really mauve. It's pretty cool toned, and I usually don't go for cool tone palettes, but I'm so, so, so in love with this palette. It is absolutely amazing. So if you have not gotten your hands on this, definitely find it and pick it up. The next palette that I have to show you is, of course, the ever so popular Lorac Pro Palette. This is the original one, not the second one. I do have the second one, which is more cool tone, but I still gravitate toward this one a lot more. And that is what the colors look like. You have a row of matte at the top and then a row of shimmers at the bottom. This is another one of those neutral but better palettes because you get the neutral tone, but then you get some really nice different tones like this copper-ish color here. And then you get this deep purple color right here. So again, you get some really, really neutral tones but then you get that different feel as well and it, it just really amps up your look when you really want something that that's wearable but you don't want it to just be the regular typical brown smoky eye the next product is the anastasia contour kit and this is of course by anastasia beverly hills this is a very popular product here on youtube there are six colors in this palette here and my absolute favorite is this banana shade right here I use that a lot to set the concealer underneath my eyes and then I mix these two shades here to contour with so I really 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 love this palette I think it's great to have your contour and your highlighting shades all in one little compact palette I also did a product spotlight on this product as well so I'll link that but this is just an amazing little palette retails for $40 so for six colors I mean that's really not that bad of a price next is a newer product this is the NARS all day luminous weightless foundation and that's what that looks like I featured this in several videos so I'll link those below as well I did an entire first impressions and demo on this and this has been my holy grail foundation I have just been absolutely loving it it's so lightweight on the skin and it just feels really nice really luminous and I love the way this looks on the skin and on my face it gives me this nice glow without being oily I have it on today and I am just totally in love with this sticking with foundations I also have the Becca ever matte shine proof foundation and again this is just another 
can't live without products. I bought this probably about six months ago and I've been hooked ever since. I love the packaging first off. I absolutely love these little squeezy tubes for foundations. I think they're just genius and it cuts down on how much product comes out when you're trying to use the product and it's just it keeps me matte all day this is the most gorgeous foundation the color match was absolutely perfect and it's a medium to full coverage foundation and it just it keeps me matte so i can't ask for anything more than that so going to Going to a primer, I have the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. This is another newer purchase, and I must say, um, if you guys haven't seen my last, well, my last haul video with um, my Ulta haul and my Sephora haul, you guys have to check that out. I'll link it. I hit it out of the park with those products, and what, like four of these products are from that haul, and I'm just... I've been living for these products and this is definitely one of them the Too Faced Hangover RX face primer I don't really use it as a face primer though what I like to use it as is more of a moisturizer so I'll put this on my face and then I'll go in my t-zone with the mattifying primer and it leaves my skin just looking so nice and refreshed I mean I love to use this especially when I'm tired and I wake up I feel like it just makes my skin look not as dull so I love this stuff for my Holy Grail Concealer, this is probably everyone's Holy Grail Concealer. This is the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer, and I have it in the color NC42. I, um, I love this concealer. It covers, it doesn't crease, it's, it's beautiful. The color is great for brightening underneath my eyes. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. It's the perfect consistency, so nothing much to say about this great concealer. For a highlight, I have the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in the color Apricot. And I've had this for a while. These are pretty pricey. I think they're like $48. But I absolutely love this Shimmer Brick. It is such a beautiful, beautiful highlight. I'm not wearing it today, but I just love it. It gives my, my cheekbones the most beautiful luminescent glow and you can either swirl your brush in all the colors like I do or you can just take individual colors and you can use them as eyeshadows or you can use the individual color as just a highlight. So say you just wanted that beige -ish color, there it is right there and it blends out so easily and so well and I love this. For a blush, I have a NARS blush, and this is in the color Luster. If you guys have been watching any recent tutorials or Get Ready With Me's, I use this blush all the time. Usually I use it in conjunction with Max Melba, but I love it on its own as well. It is just the perfect little color blush. It's not overly pigmented, but it's just perfect to put on your cheekbones and just give it a little flush of color. Lastly, I have the NARS Translucent Crystal, what is this, Light Reflecting Setting Powder. And I use this to set the concealer underneath my eyes. This is what I have been using lately to set concealer, and I have fallen in love. I don't know where I've been and why I have not tried this sooner, but I should have. Because I've completely fallen head over heels in love with this setting powder it makes my concealer look so good and I know it says it's light reflecting so you'd think there'd be some sparkle or something in it there's no sparkle in it but it really does brighten up that under eye area and um, just helps my concealer not to crease and I just love this setting powder and it is a white powder so I know women of color don't really like to use white powders but it's so fine and just like if you look at it you can barely see it on my fingers because it's just such a fine finely milled powder and so it dusts on and blends out seamlessly beautiful beautiful get your hands on this Alright you guys, so those are my top 10 holy grail high-end products. The, um, those are just products that I absolutely love. Again, if you want to see part 2, definitely leave me a comment down below and thumbs up this video. And I will get a part 2 out to you guys because there are other products that I am just dying to show you as well. However, those were my top 10. So, don't forget to follow me on social media sites. I will leave those down below. And don't forget to... 
comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate the love and support, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.